The best prosthetic work I've ever seen in my entire life is what they did with Colin Farrell. But this feels like if, oh, this feels like an actual Gotham City. You know, that actually has its own aesthetic and its own character and its own personality. Yo, 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 sure I've not been around, man, but let's, let's, let's talk about this whole thing. The Penguin, man. So, look, man, um, interesting trailer. But what I have, like, my question for it is this, is that, are we going to get R-rated? So, I get it. Let me even back up. So, someone, um, this is on a Reddit post, and they said that I'm tired of Batman films. It's the same thing over and over again. What's the, the point? They've exhausted everywhere. And I said, there is one Batman film they're still not done. Because when you look at the Batman, it is still pretty much what sort of Nolan did. You know, maybe it's a bit realer. Maybe it's a little crazy for me. I feel it's a much realer world. And a world in which could be more plausible than, let's say, the Nolan world. But it's still in that whole element of realistic, but it's still a PG-13. I would say that the one Batman film that still hasn't been made, that can still be made, is um, an R-rated film. R-rated, borderline, N-17 psychological horror film. But the issue is, because it's Batman, and you've got to sell those toys, you've got to sell that merchandise, and so forth, they'll never do it. But I, I say to myself that, this, look at this whole multiverse. You can have one thing being the Batman, PG-13, have another war, which is for 20 mil, 30 mil, most of the money spent on top quality actors, very minimalist location, a psychological horror film. Which would, I think, that is the only other way, way you can go. And which brings me to this Penguin trailer. And what my friends is trying to do. Because I'm assuming that the stuff that you can do on streaming, you can't do in the mainstream. Because it's Batman, it's out into the mainstream, it's out into broader media and so forth. You've got to make it broadly for everybody. But when you're not doing something in streaming and it's on TV and you don't have as high a production budget as you will a major tense pull Batman film that Warner is now banking, you can be a bit more creatively free. So I'm hoping they can do it with this. And look, and this is actually a discussion I have with my brother. Maybe I'll ask it to you guys. The Penguin character I thought was, was amazing. In my opinion and in my view, the best prosthetic work I've ever seen in my entire life is what they did with Colin Farrell. It is so good that even when I look at him, it looks nothing like him. So even if you tell me that's Colin Farrell, I'm like, no, it's not. And I still look at him, I'm like, no, it's not. Because the prosthetic work on it, on him is freaking outstanding. It is absolutely incredible. It's superb. It is totally and also superb. So my thing though is, is it, should we give more praise to, um, Colin Farrell and his amazing acting? Or should we give more praise to the prosthetic that helps to enhance the character itself? I, I don't know. I don't know where it begins and ends in terms of praising Colin Farrell and praising the amazing prosthetic work because those prosthetics are outstanding. They're absolutely su su superb. So, but for me, I'm very interested because the character was so interesting. He was so good. Colin Farrell made him so interesting and he looks so unique and just so... Um, it's it's someone that you really want to know more about just based on how he's been created. I'm like, oh, this is pretty cool. And in terms of just building up the Gotham world. And the Batman film, it wasn't amazing. It wasn't perfect. It had a few issues. But one thing that was very good was it felt like a real city. The Nolan film, yes, it was grounded in reality. It was Chicago. By the time they got to darkness, it was pretty much Chicago. So I was like, okay, this is this is just Chicago. To the point where you could actually, actually saw Chicago buildings in the film, in the Dark Knights. But this feels like if, oh, this feels like an actual Gotham City. You know, that actually has its own aesthetic and its own character and its own personality. And I felt that, you know, when you were knowing about it, the different lawyer, the lawyers, the different police um, the, the detectives and the different denominations of police and so forth and how the corruption is the main level. Oh, this is interesting. So now knowing about Falcone, Falcone's relationship with the Penguin, what happened to Falcone, what Penguin will now do and the status of what Gotham is about. This looks interesting. So yeah, I'm down. I'm down. And I wonder whether they're going to do a Gotham PD show because they said they would try to do a, a Gotham PD show. So maybe they would try and do that as well. So tell me guys, what do you think about the new 
Penguin Trailer, man.